So following on from the previous video, this time we're going to be looking at examples where we need to work out the values of k for which each equation has no real roots this time. So because there are no real roots, that must be that the discriminant in each of these cases rather, is negative, is less than zero. And we're going to go about this in exactly the same way. So first of all, identify the values of a, b and c. So let's look at this first example. a would be 1, the coefficient of x squared, b would be 2k, and c would be 3. So if we substitute these values into our inequality, then b is 2k, so 2k all squared. I'm putting it in a bracket to make sure that I square the 2 as well. Take away 4 lots of a, so 1, times c, which is 3. And that's got to be negative, less than 0. So let's tidy this up. We'd have 4k squared there. Take away 12 is less than 0. We can simplify that by dividing through by 4. So k squared minus 3 is less than 0. So that is a quadratic. And it will be crossing the k-axis at um, minus root 3 and positive root 3. So where is the parabola below the k-axis? It's below it between those two values. And so the solution to the problem is minus root 3 is less than k is less than root 3. So one region, one inequality. So that's the first one. Let's look at number two. So x squared minus kx plus 3 minus k is equal to 0. So first of all, identify a, b, and c. So a would be 1, again. b is the coefficient of x, so minus k. And remember that c is whatever is left afterwards. So it's that whole 3 minus k. So in the previous video, we had an example where it was in a bracket. This time, there is no bracket. Okay. So c is 3 minus k. Substitute those values into the inequality. So b squared, so minus k all squared in a bracket. Take away 4 lots of 1 times 3 minus k. And that's got to be less than 0. So let's tidy this up. That's minus k squared, so k squared. Then we've got take away 4 times 3, so take away 12. And I've got a minus 4 times a minus k, which will make plus 4k. So if we put this into the usual order, then k squared plus 4k minus 12 is less than 0. Now this can be factorised. So that's k plus 6 and k minus 2. Then you can sketch the quadratic. So we've got k is minus 6 of that bracket and k is 2 from that bracket. So where is the parabola below the k-axis? It's below it between those two values. So the problem is solved by minus 6 is less than k is less than 2. Okay? And that's number 2. So number 3 looks quite complicated here. 2k minus 1x squared plus k plus 1x plus k is 0. First of all, a, b and c. So a is 2k minus 1, b is k plus 1, and c is k. Substitute those into the, the discriminant inequality here. So b is k plus 1, so we have k plus 1 squared, take away 4 lots of 2k minus 1, times c, which is k. And that's got to be less than 0. So we're going to have to expand these brackets out. 
Expanding k plus 1 squared, so that's k squared plus 2k plus 1. Then I'm going to tidy this bit up. So I've got minus 4k times 2k minus 1. So minus 4k times 2k is minus 8k squared. And we've got a minus 4k times minus 1, so plus 4k. And that's all got to be less than 0. So we have k squared, take away minus 8k squared, so minus 7k squared. We've got a 2k plus 4k, so 6k. And we've got a plus 1. So because I don't like working with a negative x squared, I'm going to multiply everything by minus 1. And in so doing, that is going to change the direction of the inequality. Okay, because I'm multiplying through by a negative. Now this should factorise. Okay, so we're going to have a minus 1 and a plus 1 in order to get that minus 6k. 7k times minus 1, and then plus of 1k. So now sketch it. So this will bring about a minus 1 seventh. And that will bring about a 1. So where is the parabola above the k-axis? It's above it there and there. So two regions, so two distinct inequalities. Okay? And that is how we can solve these types of problems.